Hello everyone, I have here two separate products that I'm going to show you here in this one video because they are very similar products, or at least very, very closely related, and each one is actually fairly simple. So, might as well put it into one. On the left is Emmett's Builder Box, and on the right is Lucy's Builder Box, and the items that you get from each are split right down the middle. These come from the LEGO Movie 2 series of toys, but it's debatable just how much of the stuff that you actually see here is actually from the Lego Movie 2. But that's neither here nor there. They're just toys, ultimately. Let's actually look at the Lucy version first, because it actually has more pieces. What all do we get here? Well, first there are kind of a couple of figures. You want to look at the figures first? Let's look at the figures first. It's good to switch things up every once in a while, right? On the right is Lucy, a.k.a. Wildstyle, and on the left is Unikitty. Both of these are odd, especially for the Lego Movie 2. Lucy on the right has none of her Apocalypseburg gear that we've seen on all, ver all other versions of her for this season. This is practically a Lego Movie 1 version of her, which is, which is fine and all, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it's strange to see with all the merchandise being all about Lego Movie 2. Now, she does have an alternate face, so she can be looking more happy. That face is strangely offset, but fortunately with the hair, the way the hair works, it doesn't matter that much when you line it up properly. So I'll go ahead and just show you a, a mood that's a little bit closer to Unikitty. Now, Unikitty is super simplified. She's made to appear to be sitting here, and she just has far fewer pieces than normal. Part of the reason for that is that this is a 5 plus set, you know, for kids aged 5 and up. Uh, so they wanted to not include too many tiny pieces that you have to put together in a line carefully. But part of it, I think, was just being a little bit cheap, to be honest with you. Now, you can still rotate her head around like that. Here it wasn't quite on. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really simplified, kind of cheap version of that character with a print on one side of the body that is a new piece, or a new print. Nothing on the other. Looks okay in terms of its overall shape, but it's just nothing compared to the regular Unikitties. Lucy's motorcycle is also fairly plain in its fairing. You know, I'm surprised they didn't put a print on it or anything, but at least it does definitely have some cool colors, with the dark magenta colored wheels and the frame being done in a medium azure color. So, you know, they are her colors, and they look pretty cool, and for me especially, they're just nice to have to mix with other parts from other bikes, you know, to make more custom things. I like doing that. And to go with this bike here, they give her a ramp to, to ride up to do some, some stunt work, I guess. Okay, that, that works. A couple of flame pieces on the sides. This is a solid build right here, just completely solid, filled with <laughs> with bricks inside, and the idea is that, you know, you're just right up and, and jump off into the distance. For what reason? Eh. Or you can use these pieces for something else if you want, you know, to do something custom is a general idea. What else do we get in this set? Well, this is intended to be a music and dance stage for her. All right. There are a lot of the extra pieces, or the additional pieces, in this set relative to the Emmett one. So we do get some one-by-ones, but those are one-by-ones that do not need to be very carefully aligned. You know, they don't need to be rotated perfectly like the uh, the square plates that would normally be on a Unikitty. So the idea here is that somebody would be able to stand on the the rotating stage there, which also has the microphone with the extra tall skeleton piece that's a nether skeleton uh leg there for people who are, who are counting <laughs> and it's just done a dark magenta color and you know you can put a figure back over here up close or a little bit farther away and the microphone itself is just plain black no print on it got a couple speakers here you can move these around if you want and some representations of like lights and stuff this is pretty simple but has some some play value and some interest and then here we get kind of a combination water slide, bath, and spa. So it has just the shortest version of a spiraling slide. You got the ladder over here in dark azure, and then you slide down that. Just takes a 90 degree turn down into the basin. I'll go ahead and take Unikitty out for right now. You can see the translite blue tiles down in the base there. 
to represent the water. And that's, that's just that. I like this piece here and the shape of it. I like the colors too. I think they harmonize pretty well and especially work well for Unikitty. This definitely looks like it's made more for her than for Lucy. It doesn't look like Lucy's style at all. Lots of uh, nice, well, not a lot, but a fair number of light aqua pieces. I think that's a pretty nice color, useful color. And again, a pretty simple thing overall. I'm assuming this is supposed to go with the spa. It's just a countertop with a drawer in it, with a hairbrush in it, and on top you have a couple things that represent some liquid product. So maybe a bubble bath and a shampoo, or a shampoo and a conditioner, or maybe they're perfumes or something, whatever you want them to be. No tiles on top, you know, they just kept it really, really simple here, and the drawer can be opened, but you really don't even need to open the drawer because you can just pick this up and just, you know, drop the hairbrush out put other stuff in there keeps it keeps it easy of course you could not have a second drawer in here with that hairbrush piece and that's one of the reasons that they left the upper area of it open now most of the mass of plastic that you pay for with this set is in the form of this carrying case and uh, my apologies if it looks a little bit dusty this thing generates so much static electricity uh, if you touch it, if you move it, if you pick it up, it's just constantly attracting dust. But this is a carrying case for the pieces, and they ship in this in the first place. And it has some dividers in it. So this is definitely a boon for parents. It helps to keep some things organized, and for kids who want to take their Lego stuff with them, or for parents who want their kids to take their Lego stuff with them, uh, to places to keep themselves busy, well, well this gives you a nice, very sturdy case that keeps the pieces in there. Uh, the dividers are a little bit loose the way they go in, which is good for kids to be able to customize it themselves. You know, it's not frustrating to set those up. And they actually do hold the pieces very well. These don't move around when the thing is closed up. The only places that pieces can move is between this compartment and that compartment, because the smallest ones, the very smallest ones, can travel through the handle, which is hollow. And in here right now I have the spare pieces that came with this set. It's a nice small selection of good extra stuff. Uh, I like all of those. They're all interesting, especially interesting, except for maybe this one cheese slope piece, but the rest are good. And that brings us to Emmett's Builder Box. Again, fewer pieces with this one. You build fewer things but the overall volume of stuff is fairly similar. Let's again look at the figures first. Here we have Emmett and one invader from the planet Duplo, built with just regular Lego system style pieces, so not actual Duplo there. This version of Emmett is absolutely appropriate to the Lego Movie 2 because it has the wear on the reflective stripes on his vest and on the legs, so that is absolutely right it's absolutely complete it's a full version of him he doesn't need any additional accessories and the alien invader is simple just a few pieces used there and you're not even able to rotate the eye around while it's sitting there you can pull the eye off completely and put it into a different location but unlike with larger builds of that you're not able to to really animate it. And looking at these around the back, well, there's nothing else to be seen print-wise for the Alien Invader. And that's the alternate face for Emmett, which again is one of his regular LEGO Movie 2 faces. Now this is just a very, very, very simple partial build of Emmett's dream house at minifig scale, at least with a minifig scale door. It is unfortunate that the main pieces of the walls here are not one or not two by two by one bricks but two by two by three bricks so you don't get a lot of pieces there that you can use towards building other things this is the outside or the front with the front yard with a little bit of picket fence there okay i mean you can see what's there the door opens okay and inside there's just a basically it's it's emmett's dream bathroom except it's not really a dream bathroom it's i don't know is is it like a like a store display at a at a Home Depot or a Lowe's or something. It just has a toilet there and a sink. That's it. That's all he has in his house. They don't even give you any additional furniture 
to sit around this, you know, to kind of create your own stuff. And they don't really give you great, uh, great parts with the rest of the builds to create your own stuff either. So you really have to use your own imagination for this or supply your own parts from other sets. All right, they call this one a digger. It's just a front loader. It's definitely far more complete than that house was though, isn't it? It's got four wheels and tires and it has a control cab and it has an actual bucket at the front. Plus a couple of bricks that, hey, you could use as furniture <laughs> for his house. I guess you can use those. They represent just debris, you know, that you would be able to scoop up. Can you actually scoop up with this though? Um, hmm. It's, uh, it's difficult. You really have to use your hands and uh, cheat it. You practically have to put stuff into the bucket. You can't just scoop stuff up because the joint is too high. The hinge point there needed to be way lower. That's too bad. Notice they're using the standard old Junior's car base, which I think is perfectly fine. It's kind of cool with its rounded fenders. This has a fair number of pieces that went into it and a pretty decent build for this type of set. Has a couple of accessories that can be used with the minifigure directly there, but it's just a disappointment to me that the bucket doesn't work well. It, it doesn't want to reach the ground. If you want, it, if you go farther than that, you can scrape the ground, but again, it doesn't want to pick stuff up. So that's definitely a miss for play. Remember, this is obviously, of course, just a toy, oh boy. Trying to come apart there? Yeah, that could have been better. And then this looks pretty cool. This is an upgraded version of his Constructo Mech from the Lego Movie 1. It's upgraded because it has wheels and tires, so it can actually move around. The original one, even the, the full-sized big one, the big set that they did for the original movie, couldn't really do much. It was very very limited which was very very disappointing this can at least roll around and it has this waist articulation if you will which is great it can spin around and you can kind of use that with these destruction arms up here with the the wrecking balls they're not able to come down all the way but they are able to come down far enough that if you move these two arms up with their ball joints you can spin this around yeah that's 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 a cool look and you just imagine rolling around with this. Of course, Emmett is going to get totally dizzy doing that. But it seems like fun. Seems like a fun thing to do. I think a lot of kids will enjoy that. Will this digger bucket work better than the one on the actual digger? Um, no, not really. Doesn't really reach the ground any better than that one did. And then over here you have the, the steamroller or drum compactor arm. Again, from the original Constructo mech. And that doesn't reach the ground either. But... To me, it looks like a hammer. That's what it looks like to me. So, if I was a kid, I would raise one of these arms, or maybe even just tear one off, and use this as a hammer and just go around knocking into things. Maybe try to tear apart my own house, right? Because, I mean, they include it in the set, so why not? You know, just get to, to knocking on the thing and, you know, use your imagination a little bit. And eventually, you can make it happen, right? That's, that's cool enough. And then try to come along and, and at least use the, the bucket as a, as a dozer blade to move stuff out of the way. So this does have some play value. Could it have been better? Yeah, I think so. But I think it's actually pretty fun. Definitely the most fun thing in this set. Oh yeah, has a couple of prints as well. This is a print with the stripes on the front. And he has a printed console. Of course, the to-go box for this one is the same, just with different colors. And has the same number and style of dividers as well again just with different colors and for spare parts well whoop, almost dropped one almost i caught it though not nearly as much as in the the lucy builder box a couple of flower pieces a spigot and that's a old uh, baraki eye in white from bionicle the price to part ratios for these two sets are terrible and that's because you're paying for the little briefcase that you get for each. And those are valuable things to be able to carry things around. They definitely have their value to kids and to parents especially. They're useful. They do their jobs. The actual things that you build with these sets, 
Uh, they're kind of forgettable to me. Even recognizing fully that these are sets made for kids five and up, for young kids, still not that great of a uh, offering in either case. Uh, I, I kind of like the dance stage for Lucy, and I kind of like the rolling mech for Emmett, but the rest of the stuff just doesn't work that well, if you ask me. And that's not me as an adult looking at this as, from a collection perspective or a display value perspective. I'm just looking at these as toys. They're really not great toys, at least with the default builds. And the selections of pieces are okay, but again, not great in either case. Your mileage may vary, but uh, at least you've seen the stuff now, so you can make your own decisions, come to your own conclusions. If you'd like to share a comment down below what you think about these, please feel free to. If you'd like to see these being built, it did take a little bit of time. Well, I've got a speed build video up on my speed build channel, and I will link to that right now. Thanks for watching.